the Glasgow Centre Mosque, we've always been at the forefront of a leading a kind of environmental change and looking for solutions for uh, a, a more greener uh, climate. Um, some of the initiatives we've done in the past have included throughout the whole complex, and that includes inside the building, outside, we've done all LED lighting. So we've upgraded all the lighting to LED. Uh, other initiatives that we introduced were we do a cycle uh, club, so try and encourage people to come with their bicycle to the, to the mosque. Uh, we also have a car sharing scheme. So today what we're doing is we're, we're launching a new initiative uh, and that's in conjunction with Islamic Relief UK as well. And what we're doing is we're going to be installing solar panels on the mosque itself um, and that should help to cut uh, our uh, energy consumption by 23%. So Alhamdulillah, it's a great, great saving. Um, also as part of this project, uh, this is also uh, along with Greenpeace. And what we're doing is we're going to be doing the 10 most iconic mosques going green. So that includes uh, uh, Masjid al-Haram, uh, Masjid al-Nabi, uh, Masjid al-Azhar in Egypt, uh, Masjid al-Aqsa, obviously in Jerusalem, uh, and that's a Greenpeace project. And all of them will be going, doing solar panels on the mosques themselves and trying to obviously bring in more greener uh, and a greener efficiency through the mosques. With COP26, uh, obviously it's in Glasgow and Alhamdulillah, a, a big blessing for us as well, just to have all the leaders and everybody visiting. But more so, we want to, we want to be sure that from this uh, come some results. It, it is our moral responsibility to do everything we can to protect our planet. And we have to ensure that we preserve it for future generations. Um, so therefore, it's important that we don't think about today and how it might impact us today by losing out on using cars or other aspects around uh, fossil fuels, we have to start thinking about future generations.